It's a common sight in Yemen. Men sitting around chewing on a plant known as koth for three or four hours a day. It's been grown for centuries, and some historians say it predates coffee. It's a tradition inherited from our grandfathers, and it's considered like any other habit like smoking. In 2007, koth accounted for a third of agricultural GDP. It's considered the country's largest cash crop. Nearly half of household incomes are spent on koth. And there's a bundle for every budget. Prices reportedly range from a dollar to a hundred dollars based on quality. So in times of war, it remains one of the few ways to still make a living. Government employees are not getting their wages. The best thing to do nowadays is to work in cat industry. Even the government employees have become cat merchants. But the leaves are a stimulant. They're structurally similar to amphetamines. But the World Health Organization says it's not a seriously addictive drug, and it gives a mild high similar to coffee. The government says it has tried to persuade farmers to grow other crops. We are encouraging the cultivation of coffee, nuts and olives as an alternative to cut. However, the cut growing volume has expanded because of the high income. But farming and water supplies have suffered because of cot. Nearly 30 percent of Yemen's groundwater goes to caught irrigation, and the country is already faced with water security concerns. Various estimates predict that the capital could run out of water within a decade or as soon as this year. Sarah Jones, TRT World.